Oh my goodness. I just arrived here last night with my family. I'm up on Doverfjell and I'm about to meet up with a photographer and YouTuber called Tron Westby. We actually met up last night just to quickly get to know each other. Um, so today I'm going to be joining him and three of his friends to hike into the mountains and hopefully find some muskox today. So we'll just have to see how this goes, but I'm absolutely excited about this. This is something I've been dreaming about doing. So yeah, um, yeah let me just get ready and then I'm going to go and meet up with John and we'll see where it goes from there. Basically coming out up into the mountains at the moment. So we're going to be walking in that direction to find the muskox. But first of all, I want to introduce you to uh, Tron, who I'm meeting up today. So this is Tron here. So hopefully Hi guys. we're going to get some interesting shots today. And hopefully I learn a few things from him as well. It's been a while since I've done some wildlife photography like this. So getting some tips is going to be pretty awesome. But anyway, let's see how this day goes and I'll bring you guys along. to go up to these two small peaks here and hopefully once we get over the muskox will be in range we'll have to see uh, man I'm, I'm absolutely excited um, but I think this is gonna be really really cool but we have to take it quite slow once we get there they need to get used to us as well and also today there's not as much snow as there normally would be around this time of the year so yeah it's a little challenging with the terrain but I am wearing some snowshoes to help as well, but there is a lot of patches where there's no snow at all. But definitely helpful to have on. Hopefully the wind is not blowing too hard on the microphone. But uh, we're about to get over this peak. So if there's something behind there, this is going to be pretty exciting. So, yeah. I'm totally ready to take some photos of some muskox. <laughs> I'm totally ready to take some photos of some muskox. Oh my goodness. We are, yeah, we are extremely close. There are two muskox just lying in the grass over there. Oh, this is exciting. Wow, this is, this is so cool. Oh, I'm kind of nervous, I see. But yeah. I think we're gonna have to find a spot to relax and uh, take a little time with this. Right now they're just lying down, so they're they're not doing too much. So the best thing for us to do is just to um, basically take it easy. So yeah, this is gonna be so cool. The muskox have just stood up. It's facing right towards me. It's really windy right now, so I hope you guys can hear me. But uh, I'm gonna get some shots of this. So right now I'm just waiting for hopefully one of the other muskox to get up. Uh, the one that I'd like to get up has a little bit of a lighter fur and um, I think it just looks a little bit better with the contrast. And so far all he keeps doing is just lifting his head up and looks at us and then just goes back to sleep again. Um, I think we're going to be here all day. Our hopes are to pretty much stay around until the sun starts to go down just so we get some better light because that nice golden glow will add quite a lot to these images especially with that fur I think it could turn out really well I've come into a different angle here now and the muskox are literally right in front of me they're just walking around casually but uh, the lighting is hitting them head on right now 
I'm hoping that they'll eventually start headbutting or something just to add a little bit of action to this. But where they are right now, it's, it's pretty cool. And what, what amazing creatures, really. So I'm shooting right now at one eight hundredth of a second, seeing as the light is quite strong right now. My ISO is sticking around 200. Um, I am shooting wide open with this, which is 5.6 with the teleconverter on. But uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. So they've just moved a little further away onto the other side. We're gonna go around there and see if we can kind of follow with them. Um, but it seems like they've moved away just to get to a little bit more grass. Um, but I think I've gotten a few pretty cool shots so far. Um, this is really, really fun. And it's a huge waiting game as well. We've been here for quite a while now, just lying in the snow. This is, uh, this is so good. Probably the first real wildlife experience I've had. Um, I've taken photos of deer and birds and stuff, but it's it's just not the same thing. This is so cool. This is really out in the wilderness. Um, yeah, this is absolutely cool. Okay, so the muskox have gone over this hill on the one side. Um, so we're going to try and work our way around. If it doesn't work out, then uh, we're probably not going to get any more photos of them. But the light's starting to get good now. So we're just going to have to see once we get around there, see where they're heading and uh, work it out from there. Right now we're just sat here waiting. Muskox are just lying down at the top of the hill. So we're all just positioning ourselves in spots that hopefully are going to work out. But as the light goes down and changes and you get that really nice glow, these images could turn out to be pretty awesome. Still got my two times teleconverter on, even though we're roughly about 50 meters away from them. But um, getting some good portrait shots of them will be really, really nice. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna shoot this at around F7 as well, just to introduce a little bit more detail. But yeah, just gonna, sit here and wait for a while. We're all just waiting eagerly at the moment. But the light out here is getting really good and the view is absolutely stunning. Then you've got the mountains in the background with the snow just being blown over them. It's just creating this beautiful look. Sadly we missed our chance. The sun has pretty much set behind us. So the light that would have that was on the muskox has pretty much gone so they're in the dark and uh, yeah, there's some nice light behind them with the mountain in the background that's completely uh, full of snow. But uh, without that light on front of them and the fact they haven't stood up, it's just, yeah. So we're gonna head back now. And I think this is probably it for today. But uh, it's been pretty awesome following them around as it is. So I'm gonna have to end the video here today guys. It's been an absolutely awesome one. We've been here for hours on end just waiting on these mug socks. But still at the end of the day I got some really cool shots. I'm pretty happy with it. And it's been really awesome being out here um, doing some videos with uh, Tron as well. But uh, the view right now is exquisite. The light that's just on the background on the mountains, everything looks absolutely stunning. So I'm going to end it for today with this and hopefully tomorrow I'll get out and do a couple of uh, some landscape shots as well. So I'll do another video then. But uh, for today, this is it. And thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new and make sure to go and check out Tron's uh, video as well. I'll leave a link below. But for now, I'll see you in the next episode.